Let's talk about gay date rape. Okay, is that an issue? Is it not? It is. I've been gay date rape three times, and what they use is the G. And I'm in Atlanta, where I used to live. They mm-hmm. all about the G and swirling out. I'm not about swirling out and find, winding up in a damn bathtub. Okay, right, I'm right, not right, about right, that right. life. But I honestly, I feel like it is an issue in our community because mm-hmm. a lot of people. I mean, because I just literally sat my beer by a friend and they oh, were no, turning around. I, I actually think that that's a I mean? really interesting topic because a lot we we live in a society where people. The victim's the problem. Mm-hmm. I, I, I've been um, roofied at Hunt Pot. I, I, I drink a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, but that do. was the night where I only had one. Right. And I, I got my one drink, and I only had one. I had half of that drink. And next thing I know, I'm in the bathroom. Yeah. Swirled out. Yeah, swirled, you know, out. swirled out. Swirled out. You know, so that, and then everybody likes to say, well, you should watch, you should be careful your drink. Yeah, I'm an extremely like, careful person. Yeah, me too. So, like, you know, how do we fix that, though? Like, it, I don't think, think you can shots. fix it. I think it's just like, something like, do we, that like, we're how do we, to... like, you know, those, cause those predators are out there and they are, they actually are. Um, and they're usually the ones that try to buy escorts or they come up to you and they're like, you're so hot. And I'm like, yep. Yeah, well, you like, know, I'd be nice, but I'll be nice to them. But mm-hmm. at the same time, like, well, I never let anybody buy me a drink. Not unless I'm, I'm like, with them. Not unless I'm with them. I don't even let them buy me a drink mm-hmm. when I'm with them. I'm like, no, I'm No, good. I'll walk up to I the bar I make my own with money. Them. I got my own liquor. And then as soon I'm as good. they buy it, I'm like, oh, thank you so much. I turn around and walk away because I ain't going to buy I drink shots. Mm-hmm. You drink like shots. That, okay, yeah. you drink shots. No That's roofing it. shots. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you but you did you did say this happened a couple times. So how do you get how do you get past that? I block it out just like I did with my experience when I was on you know, the hardcore drugs, because I, and I hate to say this, people are like, oh, crack stores, no, meth's the worst, mm-hmm. that can, it can ruin your life, it can make you not do things, because my mar- right mind was there, but it can make you feel like a type of way, and it, luckily, I had a really good friend, um, who helped me, before I went back home to my mom, get off of it, and... I tried to swirl while I was doing it, and they were all just like, oh, you know, this is... One time I'd done it for fun, and when the guy in the bathtub, he started falling, I'm like, I'm just going to dip right on out of here, and then I heard him go, slam! I got on grind and tried to find a new trick. Mm-mm. Got to go. Time to move on. Mm-hmm. I just don't like it. I don't... And I don't like people that are on it, because so, it just makes them weird. Like, um, how old are you? I'm 23. So you're 23. So for, like, um... Young kids growing up, like now when it, we see them when we mm-hmm. both go out, we yeah. see the eighteen year olds that are pretending to be twenty one year olds, mm-hmm. and they're even eighteen year olds with their little exes, and they go out. Yeah. Um. Like, what would you say to them to keep them from going through your experience, I learning would, from your experience? I would tell them to make sure the person you're going out with. I mean, there is a lot of eighteen year olds that have not experienced a lot that do try the Molly, the pot. I mean, I don't. I'm not against it. Some I just don't do that. Though. Yeah. Like I have a few friends that every time I see them, their eyes are as like big as golf balls because they're just like, out. yeah. And like last know. night, I had a friend over and his partner, and he was saying like how he's like, I just love your carpet. I'm like. We both looked at each other. Are you on? Like, there's something wrong. Do you have nice carpet, though? We do. Nice carpet's hard to find, actually. So, you know, but I don't have nice carpet. I mean, I don't know. I might I would just say, watch out who you hang out with and watch your drinks, even though you may set it down for a minute, but Mm -hmm. you never know. Every time I set my beer down, I always make sure, like, I'm done with it, or if I go to the bathroom, because you never know. You never know what kind of fucking sickos are out in the world. Oh, there is a lot of them. Yeah. There are definitely a lot of them. Now, um, do you ever, since you guys are online, do you guys ever get, like, people that you know talk about those things Mm -hmm. or you know like how does that work you get all types of different topics i mean it just depends on and this is the thing like since we're online too like we are it's and most people say oh you're all about sex no i live my life on Mm -hmm. camera that's it like this is the real world college boys life we're all in college and we oh what are you studying Cosmetology. What are you studying? Healthcare administration. Oh, what are you studying? I'm not in college. Oh, well, he's not. <laughs> he's not in college. Go to college. Um, um, told you. Cosmetology. <laughs> That's really, yeah. really cool. That's really, really cool.